Welcome back to the weekly What's Up. It's me, Glennis, in Comic Book Hideout, and we are here to tell you that we had an amazing time at Free Comic Book Day. Thank you guys so much for coming out if you were able to make it, and if you weren't able to make it, fear not. We will be having another one next year, just like Christmas. It comes around once a year. The first Saturday of May is always International Free Comic Book Day. So if you didn't get a chance to make it out, here's what happened. And then we have like a whoop, 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 whoop. This is a day that's like comic book Christmas. It's an international holiday revering all that is art and learning and reading and fun and excitement and imagination. And here at Comic Book Hideout, those are all of our favorite things. Hi, yeah, Harley Quinn here, or Maddie, also known as. I do the social media for The Hideout, and it's just such an amazing environment. It's so cool to be here on Free Comic Book Day. I got to do this last year, and I'm doing it again this year. It's super fun to get to come and be Harley. We have a ton of cosplayers this year, which is super, super fun. We have like a whole DC group, and it's awesome just to be a part of a community. I just got a Batman annual from uh, like 91, like the Detective Comics. It's like, when I was flipping through it, it seems like it's that like art style where like Robin's like way too muscular to be like a child, you know? I grew up in Afterlife with Archie. I'd been, uh, me and my wife had been watching Riverdale a little bit too, and I like grew up on Archie, so I was like, oh my god, this is sick. The atmosphere here is also really like different from other comic book places. I guess more. It's more like an assembly line the other places, but here it's more out, different, and yeah. get the variety. This place is awesome. It's like it's like a big family. I found Think Tank because I love Matt Hawkins, one of the fantastic writers, and um, I love Top Cow, so. I got Squirrel Girl because number one, I love Squirrel Girl, and number two, she hasn't read Squirrel Girl, so. And it's the first edition, so she's gonna make me read it. Yeah, yeah. I picked up Missouri Republic. The art style looked really cool, so I was just like, okay, cool. They have a, a lot of cool, really friendly people, and your guys' Facebook always like updating what's happening and stuff, so that's really fun. Yeah. I just randomly came in here one day, and me and the owner, her name is Gwyneth, or Wonder Woman, and we just had a deep and long conversation, and I just love coming here ever since. Coming up next week is our Eclipse signing with Zach Kaplan, who is the writer of Eclipse, and we will be here at Comic Book Hideout for our normal Wednesday from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Playing games, getting comics signed, getting new books, hanging out. If you don't come out on Wednesdays, you're really missing out because there's a lot of fun to be had. Also coming up May the 20th, we are having live music at the Hideout. We're having a very, very fun show put on by a new team of boys that I'll be having do my summer concert series starting with the kickoff on May 20th. Check out all that information on our website. Welcome back to the Picks of the Week. This is Ryan. Hello. So my picks of the week are, first of all, Titans. It's the beginning of the Lazarus contract. It's a crossover with Deathstroke going after the Titans and the Teen Titans again. My picks of the week are about bugs. All of the bugs. We have them. First kind of bugs, creepy bugs. Yeah. Real scary, not to read your children bugs. It's pretty brutal. It's a new series by Colin Bunn. It's coming out from Image, and uh, it's called Regression. And as far as I can tell, the main character is suffering from um, an, a, an affliction where he's seeing people be really nasty and like bugs coming out of the mouth. Visually, it's stunning. More bugs, buggies, bug. This one's called Bug. This is a new. Uh, Young Animals, DZ Young Animals, which is being uh, headed by Gerard Way of My Chemical Romance. Gerard Way is the head of this team, but this book is an all Allred book. It's Lee Allred, Michael Allred, and Laura Allred. If you don't know all, who the Allreds are, you should read Mad Men. And you should read the last run of Silver Surfer, which was also super rad, done by Mike Allred. He hasn't done a book in a long time, uh, besides the Silver Surfer book, so if you dig his art and his wife's coloring and Lee's writing, uh, it's a pretty rad that it's like a family done book, and you should check it out. Thank you for watching the Weekly What's Up. And also, Deadpool is $10 this week, because it's Deadpool. It's not right, it's not fair,
I mean, it is a lot of comic. Well, I'm still gonna buy it is the thing, I will. Well, that's why they made it $10, because they know you'll still buy it. He's hugging the moon. And we hope you do too. No, <laughs>